Ohlone College's radio broadcasting department used to be a booming department on campus for students to experience real, on-air radio broadcasting. However, this semester, the radio department is empty, and some students are curious as to why that is. I took BRDC 123A. Um, I'm not too sure what the name is specifically. I'm pretty sure it's like the beginning uh, radio operations class. I took radio broadcasting one. What I really enjoyed actually was getting to go inside here and um, that was like our lab time where we would practice going on air, um, you know, introducing music, listening back to the music, uh, reading some scripts. Specifically, I learned all the terminology for each of the equipment that we used in the department. Although these students may have been inexperienced in radio before taking these courses, they seem to have positive opinions on the courses they enrolled in. I enjoyed every bit of the time I had at the radio broadcasting class. Um, it definitely opened my eyes to um, the opportunities that they offer there. It was actually really fun. Um, I enrolled for the next class, the 123B class for this semester, this fall semester, but unfortunately they canceled it, which actually really bummed me out because I was excited to rejoin the class. Pre-COVID, the radio department offered upwards of eight to 12 courses according to Ohlone College's catalog. Today, the number of courses has fallen to zero. Because of low enrollment, we didn't have the minimum number of students for the class to continue the semester. We would need 10 minimum. The radio program still operates their very own 89.3 KOHL FM radio station where you can listen to today's most popular music hits. Although the courses were canceled due to low enrollment this semester, there are still many students who look forward to taking these courses. Taking this course, I definitely would love to start my profession in radio broadcasting um, after, you know, getting my degree. Um, I definitely would enjoy a profession in that. If that 123, you know, the next class comes about again, I definitely will try to enroll and hopefully I can stay in that class and it won't get canceled. Although radio may be a less sought after career in recent years with the incline of new types of media and therefore leading to a low enrollment in radio courses on campus, we hope the students who do want to take these courses can do so soon. From the Ohlone College campus, this is Sean Sakig for the Ohlone Tri-City News.